How is it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4. Once again, we are back to discuss some more Forza related content. Now, I'm a bit late talking about this one. However, I still want to make a video about it and I'm actually going to show you clips and show you this information being revealed and a little bit more about it. Now, it is regarding the new Forza Motorsport game, which is commonly referred to as Forza Motorsport 8. However, that's technically wrong. It's just going to be called Forza Motorsport. Now, some people find this a little bit confusing as a Forza Motorsport already exists back on the classic Xbox. Quickly, before we get into it, as always, guys, if this video does help you out, please consider subscribing to the channel. I try to update you where I can on all of this type of content. And keep an eye out on the channel as I have a second Nissan GTR update video coming very soon. It's nearly ready. I've managed to get the car tuned. Just wait and see. Part of the reasons they have named this next game Forza Motorsport is because they are going through a whole completely new strategy of developing this game. It's not as simple as it was before. It's actually really good in our favor. Turn 10 Studios want to develop this game with us. They don't want to do it and then reveal it and hope that we like it. They want to develop it, it, develop it with us, with our opinions, with our advice, and with what we want. Well, this has been known for a while now. That's been common knowledge. Now, a short while ago, Turn 10, which are the developers of Forza Motorsport, started asking players to sign up for something called the Forza panel, where players like us could uh, interact in uh, surveys and discussions about what they want, or just in general about the new game. So Forza Motorsport can get our opinions on the spot about how to develop this new game. However, the recent news, I'm gonna show you this being announced in a minute, it's quite a cool clip. The recent news is that people that are in the Forza panel sort of people who are signed up for it and accepted are going to have the opportunity to actually play test the game early. Now there has already been weekly play tests but within the Xbox Game Studios. The big news today is obviously that now people that people like me, like you, who are signed up in the Forza panel um, are going to be able to play test the game. Now it's, it's not really a beta it's, it's more of an alpha, if that, you know, it's just testing little aspects of the game, but it genuinely does mean playing the game early. We know you've been eager to hear from him, so we're pleased to have Forza Motorsport Creative Director Chris Asaki on the show today. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, thanks, Leah, and howdy, everyone. We're here to give a quick update on uh, the new Forza Motorsport, so I hope you guys are ready. As we have shared with you, our development approach this time around is unlike uh, anything we've done before. What have we done? We started uh, this work by asking you to sign up um, for our Forza panel, um, where many of you have already been able to participate in several discussions and surveys. Uh, in addition to, to these, these sorts of panels, we actually have been running weekly play tests with, within our Xbox Game Studios and getting a lot of data and feedback on how the game's progressing and, um, and how uh, to, to really fine tune our details and, and get the, the racing right for everyone. The new news is that today we, um, we will soon be able to share uh, to our people in our Forza panel um, they'll actually be able to get their hands on a part of our new Forza Motorsport game. So that's, if you're part of the Forza panel, um, highly recommend if you're not already in the Forza panel, um, the only way to get your hands on uh, this part of the new Forza, Forza Motorsport title is to be a part of that panel. Uh, we're gonna continue to plan this type of testing as we go in the months ahead uh, and uh, get more and more people from the community in and enjoying this experience. Um, so once again, get on those Forza panels and you'll actually be able to, to check out the new, uh, or part of the new Forza Motorsport. So I hope you guys are excited about that. I can't wait to share that um, with you all. Uh, the team has been waiting so patiently to be able to do that as well. Um, it's been a long road to get here. So just wanted to welcome you um, officially uh, to this new phase of our development. Now, let me go over a few things which aren't really talked about very much when it comes to this type of stuff. Um, when you, I'll, I'll, sh I'll give you the page and show you the page where you sign up for this, by the way, if you're interested, we'll get into that in a minute. It's not just as simple as signing up and then you get access to the game and you can play it at your heart's content, you know. This is all sort of, part of it's confidential. It's very similar to YouTubers like me getting Forza Horizon 4 early. We're not allowed to tell you, you know, people aren't allowed to tell you that kind of thing when they're giving it early. And this is something similar to that. 
You know, when you sign up to the Forza panel, you have to sign, you know, you know, you have to agree to confidentiality statements. Chances are you're not going to be able to just take screenshots and record it and upload it and show everyone what this new early game looks like. Chances are that might not be possible. But it is very cool that it's getting to this stage now where people are going to be able to play the game early. It showed that it's at a very playable point now. This also does bring up the uh, question as if, is this game going to be released this year? I don't think it will be. Um, I know that's very random and sort of, sort of off topic, but I don't think this game will release this year because of how much they're taking their time on this and only just getting to a playtest public point. You know, it's barely a beta. It could, shouldn't really be called a beta. But again, we'll wait and see in that. Now, I showed you the clip of everything being spoken about. Let me now show you how you sign up for this if you're interested. Anybody can do it. You don't have any requirements apart from you have to be 18 plus. Don't bother going in and lying about your information. To be honest, I know a lot of you aren't 18 plus that watch my channel. So unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. But please don't go in and lie about it. That's absolutely not what you want to do. Now I'll have the link at the top of the description and it just tells you everything about it. It tells you the requirements, it tells you the information it needs and you can just go through there and you can just go through it, get all the information you need and sign up. It's not happening as we speak but it's going to start happening very soon. People will get access to the game. Now don't expect this to be a complete game where you can go in and play the campaign or drive any car you want. My personal guess is chances are these play tests that we get access to, this early access, you may be stuck on a certain track in a certain car with a certain tune permanently, um, you know, just for that session. Um, and that may be all you have to do. That's a lot better than nothing, but don't expect to go into this and get Forza Motorsport for free. You know, the full fit, there's nothing like that at all. But it really shows us at what stage we are at in the Forza Motorsport sort of area. I still think this, I still think the early access to this game and actually playing it will be absolutely surreal. I think this game is going to be one of the best motorsport games ever. I think it's gonna massively exceed it just because of how different everything is you know it's not just a remodeled Forza Motorsport 7 there is a lot that has been done from scratch from the ground up and when something like that happens it's going to feel very different you know Forza Motorsport 6 and Forza Motorsport 7 if you play them both you can tell similarities between them same with 5 and 6 but from 7 to this one I think it's going to feel very different but in a good way in a really good way Anyway guys, that is the new news. We are now at a playtest stage of Force Motorsport 2021, I would call it. Links in the description if you want to join in and everything about that. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Force Motorsport content and Force Motorsport content. I'll see you all later.